You see this? The bottom portion. Like as if it's something from the back of your spine. And then going up to the front part. You get your lips right here. Like that. And the chin. And then here comes the nose. And the eye is in that area. And the back of the alien's head. It's like that. <clears throat> um, so with the eye being up in this direction here. The nose portion. See the forehead coming up. And then kind of seems like the head was flattened out. Wounded, maybe. But then the back of that portion, this guy here looks like he's frightened. He's like, ah! His mouth wide open. His hair, toupee. Yeah. Maybe that's his lady. With her eye and her nose that in that direction. And this portion here that's connected to the United States of America, Mexico, has a tail. You see this elf looking nose, the eye, the hair, like I mean like elf. If you, if you look at the body and the wings coming up down there in Michigan, <clears throat> and then you see the back portion of the leg and the foot down here, almost looks like a tail is from the front. But this also has like an alien face with his mouth here and his eye and his chest cavity and his arm and his butt and his legs. But either way, it looks like this, this creature here is riding the beast. And then you have this T-Rex beast rising up from the sea. You see he's coming up from, from the south. He's coming up. Doesn't look too good for uh, this the alligator here. But as a dragon standing on the sand of the seashore, this looks like a foot, the back of a heel. Standing on the sand. Because up at the top, the horn and then the hair flows out. Where you have the face of a man, the nose, the mouth, the chin. The nose. Eye, the mustache, it almost looks like a Hitler mustache. See the nose, see the, the nostril, the clear pointed nose, mustache, lips, just straight, the chin, and then the Adam's apple. So that tops it off right there, the Adam's apple. So I just assume that means it represents Adam. Looks like his ears chopped off. Now that I see it, it looks like, remember when Christ, or uh, Peter chopped off the ear of the, the soldier, and then Christ healed his ear? Also has some kind of a wounded head look. Looks like it's, something happened here. It looks too good. Splashing up with, with this deputy, this deputy, water, water monster. Over in Michigan. <clears throat> Looks like he's persecuting, pointing at pointing at pointing at the bear. The armor bear who's on fire. 
His chains are broken. Four, three, two, one. Before the fire, he's just trailing. Behind him is like a desolate wasteland. As it looks all dry and red and, and white and just like it's been laid like a nuclear bomb hit. That's pretty much what it looks like. But in front of him, in front of the bear, where do you go? Where's the armor bear? <clears throat> Up here. In front of the bear. Heading east towards Pennsylvania, <clears throat> and even past the sea creature, it's all green pasture. It's like the Garden of Eden. See how green it is? All the way down past to the other side of America. But then look at the left side. See his nose and his mustache? The left side looks pretty wasted and dried up where this king is. His nose here and his eye here. This beast here is flying with right in front of the nose. It's like right under your nose. Riding this beast. And she, at the very top, she, with her head here, <clears throat> her feet down here, sitting, also looks like she's riding beast at the very top. In this version, you see the nose up here, the front of the lip, the mouth opened up like that, and then still... As if it's a head that's beheaded, that's taken out, taken off. And a umbilical cord connected to it. Going up to Mexico. Where this woman here just seems like she has her ha handlebar, holding on to the handlebars up the front. Riding this beast that's coming in for a landing with the head of Brazil in its claws, like an eagle flying in the sky with the wings up at the top. And this woman looking figure with her feet down here in a dress is riding that beast. And you got the sea creature, you got the deputy right here. Underneath of her. See how up in this area in Michigan, Grand Rapids, Lake Michigan, all the way around here, surrounding, it's from this section, surrounded by water, surrounded by water, all up here. It's like an island, surrounded by water. What's the 12 of them? Going down here, all the way around, surrounded. Basically, if you live anywhere up here, you're surrounded by water on from the west to the north and to the east. So in three sections, you're, sound, you're surrounded by water. ...by water, and you make traps all around it so that those looking for it would fall into a trap. And that the only way to actually get to it is to know where it's located and dig down, dig down, straight down into a dry vault. A dry vault. You think the Masons were that stupid? You think that even the Vikings, the Vikings were, were surrounded by too. water. So obviously uh, they're stalling this show because they know that I know. Okay? They know that I know. So they're running out of time. But it's going to come out of here. You know? Because if I'm right, then I'm definitely 
telling you as a prophet that they know that if they find that gold and I'm right where it's at, then I, okay. And they know that they know that if they find that gold and I'm right, Words uh, then look at how similar it is. Just follow this design here. Follow the head. The head the head design. Just similarities because it's surrounded by three portions of water and you live here, you're surrounded by three portions of water on each side, but it's right there, as in a, as you just come around and you, a loading dock right to the, to the middle point. Water's right here. I don't know exactly what that looks like from, from the street. If that's grass or water? Yeah, it's, I guess it's just green or water. Look at that, man. Steve can just take his boat and just go right there. Ah, look how cool that is. Just, you're not disturbing anybody, right? You're allowed to go down there. It's not like you're right by someone's house. So you can dock off and you know, whatever kind of boat you got. Basically, just two, three blocks down from Steve's house. And go fishing. That's got to be a nice place to be. All that open land. Yeah, it's surrounded by water in all three areas. If you wake up and look outside, you're surrounded on the right-hand side with water. All the way around. Look up, surround, look left, surround. So that may be uh, the area where it, he's at. Prophet knows because Father's revealed it to me. It's there. I know it is. And I know that there's something right here because the Fibonacci sequence. Reveals it right there. It's right in here somewhere. It's right in there. I'm telling you. Right in this spot. Right in here. Suffering. This succotash robin. In area that is actually very The button is broken. Right I think we're screwed. It's undisturbed right in here. There's probably a big gigantic oak tree planted that was planted right on top of it. There's probably a big gigantic oak tree that was planted intentionally on purpose. No nope. and made. That, looks that guy. October nineteenth. Family line. And then there's another. One. October twenty third, twenty twenty two. October nineteenth. October twentieth. The next day, the day before. Stephen, are you trying to show us the coins? Are you trying to show us coins here? I believe your Fibonacci symbol is correct. I'm just saying he's trying to show you his underground bunker below his house, the bat cave. And then, uh, and how do you, and who do you think in there? Why would he need an underground bunker? Why would he want people to know where his underground bunker is? Yes, Steve, why would you want people to know the treasure that's hidden under your house on October 19, 2022. Well, because it's the back cave. To show you his underground bunker. The back cave. Look at that. Bunker, back cave. You see how I get Steve to do whatever I want him to? Black Horse Tribe, Linwood, Michigan. If I leave now, it'll be 
12 hours and 12 minutes. It's like four, three different timelines. Take this roll has, this route has tolls and it's still 12 hours. Man, it's a long time. Oh, never mind. That, that must have, it went past this house down here, added to it. It also looks like this sea creature was brought to his knees. Here are these two girls, one on each side of this older fella, uh, the most interesting man in the world that says, I don't drink, but when I do, it's like, oh, that's one. not true. I don't even drink. I've never been a drinker, and I'm not a huge pot smoker. I eat it. It's like a huge pot smoker. Uh, no, that's not true. I don't even drink. I've never been a drinker. Okay. And, and I'm not. A they're sitting on a couch, but here's the system behind them. Uh, the most interesting man in the world that says, I don't drink, but. Well, that's one of the timestamps. I just don't feel like. Like the. Shiva. Not bad Shiva, but Shiva as a dude. They remain, to Skip was talking about, remaining loyal to their king. Him, Ham, son of, you know, that guy. Him, Ham, Ham. Tree branches. I thought he was talking about the identity tree. There's so much branches dropping down. Tree dropping down, branches in the air. These are just talk about the timestamp showing it. Up north, about five miles where he's staying. Surrounded by water. Uh, Paul Begley about the uh, entities, the heart, the earth. Messiah is coming. Be revealed. If Kanye, whatever, see a Galilee. Galilee will, will be full weeks, in a few weeks, when the Messiah shows up. And then to know exactly who the Messiah is, they're, they're going to know, is what Paul Begley is saying. We're going to find out more about that. I asked him, which, can we just pick it up where you left off? Because I knew he wasn't done. I said, Mike, can we just pick this up? Can we do part two of this next Thursday? Every generation. And there are righteous men who know pr precisely who it is. This is, of course, true in this generation. Getting the word out now that the Messiah is closer than ever is a matter of life and death. Haven't you heard of Gog and Magog, he said? That is what is going to happen in our lives. The Sea of Galilee will be full. And in a few weeks, the Sea of Galilee, folks, will be full for the first time since Rabbi Cook made this statement. So well, in a few weeks would be somewhere around 10 to 11 days, 21st, November 1st. 10 more days, somewhere around somewhere around the time I the time I should be in Michigan around the 10th, almost the 11th. Because with that Galilee being filled Ask Rabbi Cook when Cook. the Sea of Galilee will again be full. What? Rabbi Cook S responded Cook. that when the Messiah arrives, the Sea of Galilee will be full. And in a few weeks, the Sea of Galilee, folks, will be full for the first time since Rabbi Cook made this statement. So they've been having rain and has been uh, have had an abundance of rain and and the Sea of Galilee has been rising it's been forward and is sharing this information. But the rabbi doesn't say, or at least this <clears throat> article doesn't say, if Kanievsky revealed who the Messiah was. It, he, he, he doesn't say, and maybe he did. That's going to be the Messiah. The Messiah would be just a man. Just a man. Bob and Henry, he's going to be the Messiah. What Kanievsky said, maybe he, maybe he also revealed that he had had a conversation with Jesus Christ in, in a dream, and that he too knew who the Messiah was. But we don't know that. 
I don't know that. And I'm going to be going to Israel in February of 2023. Many of you can go with me. Exactly the day or the hour, no one knows. But Jesus is revealing himself not only to Jewish rabbis, but he's revealing himself to uh, even Islamic imams that he is the Messiah. Exactly the day or the hour, and exactly the day or the hour, no one knows. Two heterogeneities right there. Two heterogeneities. So it says right there, say it out loud, redoubled. What if it was in the 600th year of Noah's life, the acceptable year of the Lord, on the 11th day and then the 11th month? So in the 600th year, 11th day and 11th month, that's when Christ reads Isaiah 61. Opening of a dungeon, and look what it says, to open the senses, especially the eyes, to redouble your eyes.